Let's have a toast to this upcoming season. Mm. Hopefully, no injuries, no bad coaching Absolutely decisions. Up. Uh, Some injuries, I won't mind if it happens, though. Hey, yeah. to R.J. Barrett, to R.J. Barrett. So, thank you. R.J. Barrett. R.J. Barrett. R.J. Barrett. R.J. Barrett. How is it going to the next game still, though? Like, I, I've only been to one game it's at the Barbies. Like I was mad. Years ago. I, I only got to go to one last year, and it was against the Heat. It was the Frank game where he got hurt. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but there were way too many red jerseys. It was against yeah. the Heat. Like, I get Dwayne Wade. It was the Wade game. It was the Wade game. Yeah. Yeah. I, was yeah. upset, why, I was tight after I was that upset, game. Man. I didn't like, on, on, the average, on the average game, is nicked out. But that, yeah. game, that one threw me off, bro. That was close to the end of the year, though, right? Yeah, 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 I mean, it was like towards the middle, but I guess, yeah. Still, man, that was that was new to me. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, as far as like financially supporting the Knicks, I'm kind of boycotting them. Last game I went to was, was a game that Derrick Rose didn't go to. And, oh, and I, honestly, I was like, it was a turning point. Bro, bro. Like seriously, I'm like, yo, this is this is absurd. Like I've never heard of this. And then they put out his a book, player and then you just doesn't that. show up to a game. And it was like he doesn't have to say anything. Yeah, that, 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 that was the best part. We didn't do a thing. You know, I knew nothing, and I wanted to see him play too. And I was. I was disgusted, right. man. I was I'm like, yo, it's the players, like, we as fans, I, I, I would feel like we get more upset when they lose than they do. Mm. They're getting paid millions. Mm. And we, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of us, like, we go to sleep at night thinking about the next. We wake up. Right. Unfortunately. We imagine what trades they're going to make. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, so many mock drafts. Nice. Now, we, now we have, like, skills scouting young talent. You know what I mean? Okay. Because mm -hmm. the Knicks are trash. Like, That's true. And it's like, we put a lot of our effort, emotions into it. And I'm like, if they don't even care, man, I'm not going to financially support them. I'm still going to be a diehard fan. But as far as going to a game, That's true. I, need to, I need to know that the 12 people on the roster, like, they ride and die for New York. And you know what? The Warriors, Warriors fans about to get that rude awakening too. <laughs> when oh, that yeah. new building, yeah. it's about to be the same thing. All these diehards that used to be there in the Oracle and stuff, <laughs> that's the boss over. Now it's just rich people who want to be a music. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yep. But they had like a five year run. That's like a good, that's, that's a good dynasty run. Yeah. You can't it, go past it, that. The Warriors days are gone, bro. So those would be the fake fans. If they move D'Angelo and get like a good forward though, oh, they could be right good. back. Be like right if they got like an Aaron Gordon and another player, or like somebody who's Aaron like Gordon, that'd be a great thing. He's in the thing. wrong situation, but if he got, if he was on the Warriors, I think he'd be really good. I, I yeah. didn't think of we that. Should, that. We that's, should that's, take him. We should take him. trade away from him. That would not make sense for the Magic, but that'd be a great fit for the Warriors. Though. Right. But the Magic been looking for a point guard, but it wouldn't make sense for the Magic. If, if Markel fixes his arm oh. and he's good, he could be really good. You saw him shooting those free throws. It was like it was watching like a little kid like learn how to shoot. It was like. But I seen some some recent like video of him shooting, and he looks. Smooth. A little bit better. Look, I, we, were, we were talking earlier. I, I want him to do well. Kids, he's going to be a good kid. Yo, he was killing that summer league before he got hurt. That was the last time you saw him have like a regular jump shot. The they summer said league. that he had like a motorcycle or a car accident. That's the rumor. Like I've heard that rumor. And you heard the show. He had nerve damage or yeah. something. Yeah, and then, but they don't want to. They don't want to put it in the public. You know what I mean? It's a mental oh, thing. Like I've that. Heard that I think that would make us feel better if we knew what it was. Right. Yeah, right. Rather than us here being like, man, that's some right. Like when Jay Williams had that bike accident, like we knew it was like, damn, no. yo. Jay Williams is the reason I started watching college basketball. Let's put the ball in the off season. Like we got happy with what happened, what, what we got. Yeah. What Can you use the word satisfied? Yeah, satisfied. I'm satisfied. That's a good word to use. Happy. I would, I, for me, I would say I'm at peace. Okay. Because okay. I'm at peace because right now. I think we made a good decision by not signing a broken KD. But we didn't really have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I think we did have a choice. At the end of the day, we're, for the first time in a long time, we're building through the draft. We're, we're having young guys. Long time. That, years. Yeah. But when was the last time we had something like that? The last thing we were trying to do is like trade people, trying to chase something that, that was gone for decades, right? Yeah. yeah. Right now, look, at the end of the day, we survived Barnyani. So, <laughs> it can't get, it can not get any, it cannot get any worse. Right now, I'm Banyani brought Dwight in his spot, all right? So let's have that. Let him have that, all right? I remember that game, man. What do you think, man? What was your off season takeaways? Woo, woo! Well, like I said, there's a lot of them, I mean. see money. I mean, obviously, Obviously, free agency is a disappointment. I don't care what anybody tells you. They tell you they're happy with the free agency, they're lying to you because that is not who they said they wanted going into free agency. Mm -hmm. So, other than Sean Aquino, shout out, he's not here. Mm -hmm. Happy 40th, Sean. Mm -hmm. He did want to sign Julius Randle. But, um, he did. He did. but, you know, at this point, it's just pending. You got to see how it comes together. 
Yeah. But like, if you can't, that's it. That's the one. You can't, you can't, but you can't sit there and say, oh yeah, like this, this is the squad I wanted. Like, it's not. No, you, no. you look at the team on paper and you're like, what's the plan? What is the team? You got three starting fives. And, Facts. you know, it, as, as Berman had an article today and we were talking about, like, you have 15 guys, all need playing time. Not just basketball. That's a recipe for disaster in sports when you got guys who are just going to be playing for the next guys contract. Are gonna be happy. Guys and what? It's all going to fall on Fizz's shoulders? It's his fault that these 15 power boards you put on the same team <laughs> are mad that they ain't all playing? Like, Dang, that's the big point right there, too, because that's the thing. Fizz is going to be the first one to get the blame. Right. Yep. Right. And then here we go. Always, always I understand always. that, but at the same time, just the, the same way that we're going through all these players and hoping for the best, we can't keep going through coaches. Like, yeah, no. like, t- yeah, like I mean, you know what I'm saying? This is a good keep, coach. Exactly. I'm but for it. I'm just saying, if this goes wrong, come December, Fizz's head's going to be on the damn pole. Yeah. Disappointed first, confused second. Thank you. Thank you. There's no way you're going to tell me that you have a plan about how this season's supposed to go. I don't care what he says on Monday. He's a good talker like Obama. He's very smooth yeah, with everything. Right. 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 Very smooth. I, he has no idea that minutes break up and the, no. who's playing 25, 30, 18, no. 7. Like, I, there's no way he can know with 15 guys who all have a case that they should get playing time. So, so it's gonna be very um, hard. Man. Yeah, I felt like three of the signings I could I, I could live with. Like I could tolerate the Randall one. Yeah. You know, fine. You don't want to have R. Like you don't want to have R. J. You don't want to put like, it all on R. J.'s shoulders. You want to have like a guy who's kind of like the number one option as a as a stopgap guy. Cool. Yeah. I see that one. Um, Portis. You know, backup center for Mitch. All right, cool. I can live with that. He's already embraced it. Taj Gibson, you want a veteran. Show these young guys just how to, you know, be. He's won. Winning experience. But for that much money? You need to sign Taj Gibson. It's two years. It's two years. One of them is team option. You need to spend $20 million on Taj Gibson two hours. Probably not, but they, you know, he's Brooklyn, so they took care of Brooklyn. Whatever that favorite was, right? Fort Green. So, Fort Green. I would give the money to win. Right? So, veteran presence winning, I get that. I just don't understand the veteran presence instead of $20 million for Taj Gibson? I don't want Lance Thomas anywhere near the team. He's not a veteran. He, he offers us on the court nothing. But I don't. So you don't get respect. I don't need him though. on the court though. I need him just to be on the sideline to be there well, for my young guys. Presses, I, I think you, you need a Taj. Yeah. Yeah. You need a Taj. You need a Taj. You need a Taj. Twenty million. Only Taj and Marcus Morris have won. They're the only guys who won. So I'm cool with them. The Payton one, I don't get. Elvin Payton. That makes no sense to me whatsoever. That Payton one didn't make sense. That's, that's, a, that's Perry's, Perry's guy. It was yeah. redundancy. The pain move was redundancy. But again, I, I feel like there was a lot of redundancy in free agency. If you really think yeah. about it, because yeah. you know, well, you could have got like a guy like JJ Redick, who he's a, he could change the game a little bit. You know what I mean? He's more of an impact player. Mm-hmm. You got two or three players that kind of like do the same thing, but not as well as what JJ Redick does. And, you know, I just feel like... What do you mean, they, Ellington and Bullock? Ellington and Bullock. They, they, they overlap. They overlap each other. Ellington, Bullock, Trey. We didn't need both. We didn't need all of them. They all overlap do each we other. Do? So Not. instead of paying for three of these Not. guys, pay more money for one. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. I mean, and yeah. you won't have the problem. Because it's going to be an issue, like you guys mentioned. Like, the whole rotation, like, man, there's only, like, all the guys got at least, what, 24 to 28 minutes last mm-hmm. last year? Yeah. Ellington was playing 28 minutes last year. Yep. These guys are going to expect minutes. And, and he complained better. in the beginning because he wasn't getting that at the start of the season with Miami, Wayne Ellington. Uh-huh. And he right. complained about it. Don't so now problem. that worries me this it's season. It's one everybody got pegged in as just being a, a exactly. bench player. Exactly. Yeah, one of that, that's going to be last season. Yeah. Building, that's what I'm saying. The I'm underlying that, thing, man. though, I feel like these moves might have been partially like favors to the agents that they deal with. Just to like, they want some good graces. You know what I'm saying? So that's, it's like, that's true. We'll, we'll take care of some of your guys. We're going to give them one year, two years, just big money. And when we need to make a trade for a big guy, they hopefully look out for that. Because I think, like, a lot of these guys are signed to the same agency. Uh, uh, that, that's stars. probably true. But do you think an organization should operate like that? No. Maybe not, but the Knicks need any help that they can get. So if it's more so agents helping dictate the situation. When you're in the beginning of a rebuild, yeah. It, yeah. You, you gotta play sense. ball. You're right. So, yeah. so you think an agent can play for sure. so, to yeah. a city that he doesn't want to go to? For sure. Probably yeah. Not. All the time. A star? Yeah. For sure. Like a KD. We're looking we're looking we're looking against we're talking about superstars. We're talking about the KDs and the Kyrie's crazy. and the Giannis. Think you what? think that those kind of guys can be swayed? Because we're not talking no. about middle of the pack guys. Look, I mean look, KD, KD couldn't. KD right? can't be swayed. Was it? Kyrie well, came like the the Kleiman, the Kleiman was his dude. Kleiman was like, yo, Kleiman is the, a huge Knicks fan. And KD was like, I'm gonna go to I'm not, I'm not gonna play for the Knicks, I'm gonna go to Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. Like, what I wanna so do. I don't think it really has as much weight as we think it does. Like guys in multiple offers, digital age, you can be big anywhere. Um especially like, today. 
Yeah, like you can be big anywhere. Yeah. I think they're doing those those connections and those moves to get a better look and perception as far as the media is concerned. Because mm -hmm. agents are going to talk to the media and the sports writers, and they're going to have more of a positive narrative. Not ESPN necessarily. Like they they work. Work. I, I call them BSPN. I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Let's take it to that. Yeah, Zach Lowe. Lowe. Did you guys all see the Zach Lowe? Yeah. 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 yeah, we watched it. Show me the lie. <laughs> He's not lying, man. He's right to be disgruntled. But I just hate that it's on ESPN. That's my beef with it. You're so right. You did on FS1? Man, just, just put, throw, that, throw that edited video on Twitter or something like that. Like, don't give it to them. Don't give them the firepower. Like, that's my beef with it. But, but you're right. Is, what was the lie with And then Rachel exactly Nichols gave us some but, bars. But this, is, this is what I don't understand. Are right, Atlanta Hawks fans disgruntled right now? Aren't nah, they in the beginning of a rebuild? But we're it's more fun in Atlanta because there's a solid plan and they're. They have a system and they're getting guys that suit that style. The Knicks don't have any of that. You know, they I got believe, Trey Young, Collins, have a plan. Herder. They, they, they said their plan was to rebuild through the draft. But you're still going to put veteran players around that. That's true, but yeah, look what the Hawks did. Otherwise, you have another 17. True, but we're overstacking up. with these veterans. Yeah, yeah, we're, 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 we're talking about Reggie and Wade. But as far as the plan and the much money to spend, you're going to have overlapping You've got to spend the money. You can't get everyone that you want. Some guys are going to want to come, some guys don't want to They took $70 million and went out and built a bottom. They went out and built a bottom five project. What I'm saying is, how do we know that? How do we know that a J.J. Reddick wanted to? That's what I'm saying, but you still went out and bought, you took 70 million. First of all, you went around on the media tour talking about you knew free agents wanted to come here. That was dope. No, no, that, that was, was dope. That was dope. Other than that, they were out the reservation. That was a mistake. They did a media tour about after trading KP, they were doing damage control. You know free agents want to come here. Why do you care for training for cap space? We know we got guys coming here. Then you didn't even get a meeting. And then after you didn't get a meeting, you hid. You didn't talk to the media. They didn't say it. Yeah, but that was, that was before, first of all, it was before Durant's injury. Right. I think the yeah. injury changed. I do, I know, I do the injury and, 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 and also, not even the Nets got a meeting. We went to the Nets and Nets yeah. and gave me. So that, that's not that's really why I think it's a money move. That's why I think it's a money move. Because the fact they didn't get a meeting. Money's the same. He took left. Should go to the Nets. Yeah, he, yeah, he did te technically like shaved a couple million he off here and there. To get DeAndre, he's yeah, right. Yeah. Get his boy. That was it, right DeAndre. there. If you get DeAndre, I'm gonna go there with Carter. And I'm not saying we should have got like Jimmy Butler and um, a Kemba or whatever like that as a settle. I, I my, my, like thing is, my thing is, we could have just spent money on guys who fit the, the young guys that we want to support. So, RJ thrives off of penetration. He can run a pick and roll, but he's not a good shooter. So, you should get a guy who can shoot. I like think I in. Not Ellenson like um, Angelo Russell. No, like uh, Malcolm Brogdon. That would have been a smart, two smart guy. Two-way player. Brogdon would have played the one. He can play. He can play. If you have two guys who can run offense, okay, I'm, I'm just yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They so, they're gonna use him as a combo, like a beat. combo thing. So okay. yeah, I'm gonna like him. He's still on the way up, though. He's, he's not a caretaker. He's, 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 go ahead. You know, I'm saying like a guy like a Brogdon, he's still a star on the rise. He still has upside. He's not a caretaker like a. So it's Randall. They're the same age though. Who? Randall. Like they're like the same age. So like you could have got more balance. Yeah, yeah. They're both like 24. Yeah, but at least you, you're spotting Julius Randle at the court where you have the knee. But I feel like that would have been fine for like the Knox uh, to get the minutes of the four. The Marcus Morris fits more because it's like toughness, but he's not a the ball dominant guy. But you kind of need a guy like him. Where Randall is like Randall at this point, he's got a guy like he expects to get that thirty plus minutes a game, twenty shots. Like mm -hmm. Morris can't demand that, but Randall can. So I figure if you go for more team guys like Morris. You let the young guys figure out, okay, who's going to stand out above the above the pack? With Randall now, they're coming under him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know. Okay. But I like to mention New Orleans. Like In one season, right. New Orleans has more of a core right. than the Knicks who have been building for, been building for two they years. Right. They, they I mean, and I don't know, so what, they got Zion that piece. But the Knicks have a piece to build around. A piece to build around. You could take out the Zion thing and the Pelicans still build right. a solid right. team with what they did. The Knicks traded the top five. Yeah, yeah, but also shows. the pieces around that that they signed in the offseason too, like for um, what's right. his name, J same JJ Reddick. They're favorites. But they have they a more desirable from, from the trade. I get what you're saying. You got right. Lonzo, you Josh got, Hart, uh, Josh Hart, and you got Ingram. Yeah. Right, you put them with Zion. That's really that. We're talking about a four right Thank there, you. and then yeah. the draft when they got all. And Drew Holiday still there. Drew Holiday, yeah. So yeah. That's really. Yeah, but we're taking for granted the fact that they had a major asset that they used. 
Yeah, well, we, we don't have We didn't have a flip. Right. We, we did, did. Well, we, we did, did. but uh, <laughs> we, uh, we I feel like we could have played in a year and a half. Right. KP. We had to play in a year and a half. He was a he was a, he was a wanted player around the league, man. I feel like we could have got more win now talent other than Dennis Smith Jr. Right. I heard that oh, we could have. Uh, that's, that's the price. That's the price. That's the price of getting rid of Chuck. But at the end of the day, what did that cap get us? You know what I mean? But at the end, you still got to put yourself in a position to get him. Okay. Well, I'm you glad he didn't do it out for you. LeBron was 100 percent guaranteed, but you still had to put yourself in position to play the game. Yeah, no, I agree. You That's know what I mean? Saying. Like the good thing that they didn't do was everybody didn't get four-year deals. You know what I'm saying? So we oh wouldn't, we're not God. stuck That's with these guys. Right. Didn't do That's that. the only biggest win of saving the grace. Sure. And as Knicks fans, we just have to yes. take that win because it's like we we've, we've gotten used to horrible contracts that we feel like we regret in two months of the, of the situation. Also, if Taj wasn't the second person signed that day, <laughs> That's true. Taj it would have looked a lot better. Yeah, yeah, Taj could have waited. You didn't have to announce see, I, it. I think like, we heard these names before they even signed. Like, like, yeah, that was so like, weird, too. It was like the rest of the board. Oh, Randall. They already knew yeah. what they plan B was. <laughs> you got you to have a plan B. When you're dealing with like that kind of money, you got to you gotta plan A, B, C, D, all the way to Z. Yeah. And, and once once KD and Kyrie is off the table, yeah. all right. I heard in the window that, um, that the Knicks never really wanted Kyrie. Like Kyrie and KD was supposed I mean, to come that, in as a pair. That seems pretty really clear. Yeah, and, yeah, and that's yeah. what turned. Part that's what turned KD away because he's like, yo, you know what I mean? Like they don't want me. He, so he felt a certain way, but he drugged KD with him to the next. And after the injury, the injury. it gave him more incentive. I heard yeah. the Knicks wanted Kawhi and KD, and I heard that Kawhi I would want Kawhi and KD too. I would too. Kawhi and Kemba and KD. That's why Kawhi took was agreed to take a meeting with the Knicks. It was in. It was in with the idea that oh I'm gonna play with uh, I'm gonna play with KD and even if he's injured Kawhi could have held down the fort for a year you know what I mean with the with the players oh, sure. that he had and could have the playoffs I've seen what he can do yeah. you know what I mean so so I think that once once we shun Kyrie. Kyrie and Durant's here, like, uh, we best friends, come rock with me. And he's seen all this pairing and best friend stuff going on, so he's like, all right, I'm going to rock with you in Brooklyn. We all know that KD don't really have a strong backbone. You know what I mean? I moved to, it, to the Warriors, told you that, so, you know what I mean? Yeah, do we really want that? Do we really want that kind of? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. 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 i will all of the net positive players that they had last year, year are yep. all gone. Mm. They still got Karras. Except for Joe Harris. They, 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 they have Karras. You got but, Josh Harris. But Karras is hurt all the time. I think it's going to go Here's why, right. I, 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 here's why I think it's still going to be good for them. Because the problem with Boston was that Brad Stevens ran an offense where it was a lot of motion and uh, DROs, dribble handoffs, and whatnot. Brooklyn runs more pick and roll. Kyrie, his best strength is pick and roll. So... Him replacing D'Angelo is be- is good for them because he does what D'Angelo does except like five times better. He doesn't he doesn't pass. He doesn't facilitate. Like he can't pass. He can pass what he, he wants. Can, he's average five to six throughout his career. But D'Angelo is average like seven, shot. eight, nine assists. You know what I mean? He's a, he's a natural. But Ky- Kyrie also didn't get the, never had the chance to really get to like seven, eight because when what he was mean? about to find his groove, LeBron Boston. came and LeBron's gonna get LeBron. He had to Boston. He was he was a smaller He had in Boston. In a Boston offense, you're not gonna get seven, eight because you're not dominating the ball like that. So I think in Brooklyn. Pick more, a lot more pick and roll. He's got Levert as a number two. Yeah, what you guys think? Because basically they build him around. They got Aiden, running backs. Kyrie, Levert, and Henry. Right, like right. That's where their money. It's, it's a right gamble. gamble. Josh it's Harris is a shooter. You got the rim running bigs and uh, I mean, Allen and DeAndre. I'm not gonna say they're not going. They're gonna be good. Look decent. No, they're gonna be good. I'm not saying it's gonna happen right away, but I year. can I can see it going bad. Oh, they're not getting a title. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, they're not. They're not championship. Mm-hmm. What I will say though they're is not, that this is this is gonna be a good time for us because right now. We have two with, years to with get the, it right. With the two players that moved, 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 moved to Brooklyn, right? I, I don't, I don't even want to say Brooklyn because they're just the Nets, right? They're homeless. But <laughs> Homeless. <laughs> no, because like, you know what I mean? They left Jersey. Yeah. All those kids that grew up watching the New Jersey Nets, you know? They're watching they watch yeah. Brooklyn. They, 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 they you know what I mean? But like, yeah, all right, what, what I'm trying to say is this. Every single media eyes will be in New York City, but not, not in Manhattan. It'll be in Brooklyn. Mm. So right now... We have been blessed with the time to just kind of stay to ourselves. People, you really you know, think that? I, I was I just going to say, that, man. man, that's a nice hypothetical. They it's still want to battle. Us, Even without ESPN games, we're, we're still a story. Us. They want yeah, to they're, they're, they're going to compare. They're going to compare. Exactly. They're yeah, going to compare. That's across why. Across the bridge. Yeah. Okay. They're going to compare that. But mm-hmm. 
I wish that was the case. Trust me. I wish you were right. Yeah. But nah, no, they're, they're, they're looking for us. That's why we got to wait. Every player had to answer the question about the Knicks. And then you seen DeAndre Jordan. Like, y'all played for the Knicks for two months. He was getting frustrated. Right. People took that the wrong way, by the way, too. That blew up. That blew up. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand what that blew up. That was just being frustrated. Why are you asking me about this? And that's how I read it. That's too. We hear about the Knicks. We was talking about the Knicks. I didn't hear nothing like. I can't wait for you to get on my mind. Up, like, those press conferences are going to be great. That, I can't wait for those press conferences when he's annoyed with yeah. all the New York media. Yeah. And, and, and Nick. So how is it here uh, compared to when you played for the Knicks? Is it a lot different? 